Here's your Space City Cowboy. Don't mess with the bull, young man. You'll get the horns. Back to Matt Patrick and Houston's <laughs> Morning News, live from Rodeo Houston. KTRH News Time is 546. Uh, our cowboy hat is off to our imaging people at KTRH. Uh, fantastic job uh, getting us in and out. I like that. The uh, Space City Cowboy. Hey, joining me right now is Bill Nettle. He's with the 4N Ranch. And, uh, Bill, welcome to Houston's Morning News. Good to have you here, sir. How are you? Thanks, sir. I'm having a good morning. Now, you're up early. What is it, uh, if you would talk right into that microphone, I, you know, we've got, like, uh, all of Texas and most of Mexico listening to you right now. <laughs> uh, w- what are you doing early in the morning? What is uh, What are your chores as you get up here early? Well, I have a crew over there that's uh, bringing bulls to the wash rack and washing bulls, getting them ready to show this morning at 8 o'clock. So, Bill, when you get ready to show, what happens during that showing? Where, where do we go to watch something like that? I will go to the main arena right here in the Reliance Center. We have a, a, a makeup ring where you first bring your bulls, and we'll, we'll have them tied back there. Then we'll have people bringing them into the show ring where they'll be judged. Uh, is it difficult to wash a bull? I would think there would be a special uh, procedure that would take place because if the bull doesn't like the way you're washing him, might get angry. That could be an ugly situation. Am I right, Bill? Well, yeah, but we are uh, we have all these bulls preconditioned before we ever get here, or we wouldn't bring them. <laughs> <laughs> so talk about the, the, the this specific rodeo and livestock show when people come in. What is so special about the Houston Livestock Show? Uh, it's the uh, largest and oldest for the American Brahma Association breed. It's over 100 years old, and uh, we've been coming here for about 30 years. Wow. Now, what, uh, how long does it take to prepare uh, for the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. When do you begin to prepare for this event that uh, begins at the end of February? Uh, we, we're preparing all year long, actually. We, we start calving our calves uh, usually in the spring. Some people calve them all year round so that they'll have a calf in every division because they're classed mm-hmm. by age. Mm-hmm. And you, you start by weaning your calves and halter breaking your calves and fitting the calves, feeding them and getting them in right condition for the show so this is uh, basically all year round you're just kind of looking forward to uh, to these next few weeks well we go to a lot of shows in between but this is the granddaddy and, and bill how many you know what are you expecting today how many awards do you think you could get this year what, what's your average well it varies from year don't be, to year don't, 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 be, <laughs> don't you know, be shy don't yeah. be shy bill tell us i mean you're going to win this thing going away right I mean, 30 years he's doing something right uh, well i've got a red bull that possibly could do it you really? think so? Hmm. Possible. D- does it? Do they have names? I would assume you've named them all. Or? Oh yeah, th- uh, this is Guitar Man. Guitar Man. Oh. So because I'm going to be watching, I want to see uh, how Guitar Man does. Well, we last show we had him at was Dixie National in Jackson, Mississippi, and he was grand champion. No kidding. And we're looking for, looking forward to having big things out of him. And, you just never know from judge to judge. Well, let me tell you something. You've been on KTRH on Houston's Morning News this morning. That is nothing but good luck for you, Bill. We so appreciate it you. very Gu- much. Guitar Man is going to win. Man. Enjoy it every year. <laughs> he is going to win. Bill, I thank you for your time early this morning. I know you're a busy guy. Good luck, and uh, thanks so much for spending some time with us. Thank you very much. Grab your boots. Get in line. The hoedown continues now on Houston's Morning News. Take her easy there, Bill Graham. Live from the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. You better listen. KTRH News Time is 7.46, and uh, it is great to be here at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Uh, Lois and I have been here all morning. We're going to wrap up the show by introducing you to a couple of bullfighters. Uh, Dusty Tuckness, Kelly Jennings here with us. Dusty, Kelly, uh, welcome. Uh, it is uh, great to have you guys. Up a little early, are you, Dusty? Uh, a little bit, but uh, <laughs> shoot, we're enjoying it. Well, that's good. And uh, this is your first time in Houston, Kelly. Yes, sir. How do you like it so far? I love it. Good for you. You say you haven't met a bad person yet, but what did you say? Something about BS? Uh, you just let that one go? the livestock <laughs> show. I, 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 I heard that just as we were going in. It's great to uh, to have you guys here. Hey, uh, Dusty, explain to me what you do here at the rodeo as a uh, bullfighter. For me, Kelly Jennings and Corey Wall, our main uh, priority is cowboy protection. Basically getting out there and uh, maneuvering around the bull, distracting the bull away from the fallen cowboy, either after the eight-second whistle or when he bucks off, you know, uh, safety, we're their safety factor. 
But Dusty, you and Kelly, you also make us laugh. When we're watching all of this, you, you have a way of doing what you guys do, and you make us laugh. Yeah, in a way, uh, for me, Kelly and Corey, our main job is cowboy protection, so we're more uh, under the lines and category of a, a bullfighter. Now, Leon Coffey, on the other hand, who is in the barrel, his main uh, objective and priority is the comedy and entertain ah. the crowd. And you do see some uh, uh, kind of some jokes and different gestures between us as bullfighters. Mm -hmm. It just helps us be calm and relaxed in the arena because we, we enjoy what we do and we love what we do. So might as well uh, show everybody else that it, it is a fun, but uh, it is very serious and very dangerous, and we take it very seriously. Now, Kelly, have you ever been, uh, been hurt or the closest that you've come, uh, ever had a horn stuck somewhere where you didn't care to have it? Uh, I've had several horns in bad places, broke bones. It's normal. We're all going to get bumps and bruises and broken bones. We know it. It's just a part of life. You just get up and go about your business. Did, did you wake up one morning and say, I'd like to be a bullfighter? I'd like to get out there and distract the bull away from a cowboy? Is this something that you wanted to do just outside of the womb? Or how long did it take before you realized this was your vocation? Uh, no, actually, everybody has a different deal. I grew up ranching and uh, worked for a guy that started doing it. And I've known Dusty since he was still wearing diapers and this is all I've ever seen him do so for him I'd say yeah this is his destiny uh, wow. there's different avenues for kids nowadays and uh, it's a great it's a great business to be in I've got to ask you I went over there and watching them blow dry the bulls I mean does that is that give you a different perspective on those animals over there I mean they're very very careful with well them. Kelly probably could answer that better than I could because he's he's dealt with cattle his whole life and been involved in ranch and cattle but uh, the difference between the ones here at the, the trade show and the stock show to the arena are way different. You don't That's see right. the guys at the rodeo arena brushing down their bulls and that. They're feeding them really good and hay and water and keeping them up and fed right. But uh, mm -hmm. these are show animals. In a way, those are show animals too, but more or less little action packed. They don't, they're not made up quite as much. Exactly. Yeah. They, they don't smell as good as maybe these guys. <laughs> yeah. These guys smell here. All right, well, listen, I want you guys to think, uh, if you would, here, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, uh, I want to hear about uh, the scariest moment that you've had, at least so far. Kind of tell us uh, what that's like when we come back. These are the guys, Dusty and Kelly, that run out into the arena when the cowboy uh, is on the ground and distract the bull. They say, hey, bull, over here. These are those guys. We're talking with them today. We'll come back and we'll find out the scariest moments of their career in just moments. The good, the bad, and the ugly stories of the day continue. You better start packing a handgun. As Matt and Lois whip up Houston's morning news live from Rodeo Houston. KTRH News Time is 7.52. We're wrapping things up here at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Denise, thank you. I appreciate uh, you be having us here. You have been fantastic. Dusty Tuckness, Kelly Jennings joining us here. These are the guys that distract the bull once the cowboy has fallen off the bull. All right, I want you, uh, Dusty, quickly give me the scariest moment you've had so far. Uh, so far, really, you know, the last three purse have been pretty dang smooth. You know, when you got two good partners, Kelly and Corey, uh, you can pick a lot, of, uh, a lot of stuff apart before it ever happens. And it's just a teamwork out there. One of us isn't out, out trying to outdo one another. We work as a team. So amongst us, ourselves, when something's fixed to kind of get a little hairy, you can see the other guy come in and slide in and pick him away before anything uh, really really has time to develop. I guess the worst thing I could think of so far was actually Kelly uh, a couple nights ago. He had a red bull. He come in. It was on the chute gate side. Cowboy fell into the chute. Kelly had to go through there and basically the end of that chute gate cut Kelly off so he couldn't go all the way through. And so what I try to do is try to pick that bull off of Kelly to bring him back out into the arena because if if not, you know, Kelly can't go anywhere, and there's that buck and shoot, and those buck and shoots don't bend. So for myself, that's probably the, the scariest thing so far. But, it, you know, it, that stuff happens every performance for us, so we're kind of used to it. So when that happened, you were it was just you and that bull that would have been in that shoot. Is that what you're saying? There was nowhere for you to go. Well, it, it was a bad deal. Uh, there's the, the bull rider was in the shoot, too, and that's even worse because we don't want to be – as soon as those guys hit the ground, we want to go the opposite way. Right. We don't want we don't want them nowhere near a bull rider. And he was in the chute, and then me, and then a bull, and metal, and it's bad. And Dusty, Dusty did a dang good job picking him off. But so far, the best move has been Dusty. Made a good pick the other night on Chance Smart, and kind of got mucked out a little bit. But 
That's all part of our deal. Well, listen, wow. you guys, thank you so much for what you do. <laughs> thank you. We appreciate it, and uh, thanks for taking the time. I know you got up early this morning, but we appreciate <laughs> you coming out here. No, we appreciate you. Have, yeah. a, uh, have a great uh, time for the rest of the Livestock you Show and Rodeo. Thanks for having us.